What's going on, guys? What's happening? What's happening? Back with another. Do your thing, man. Do your thing, man. Do, do that thing that you do, bro. Do the thing that you do, Come man. On, bro. What is it, man? Do the thing, do the thing, thing that bro. you do Come when on, they're man. waiting. Come on, the people are waiting <laughs> for that. They're waiting for the instructions. <laughs> Those you have to crumble like that. <laughs> Please like. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite. It's good, bro. Run it, run it, bro. And subscribe. <laughs> Yay. I can't lie. Podcast. What's going on? What's I going on? Lie. We're Podcast. back with another yeah, one. Man. What's happening, lads? You know, right? Yeah. Hashi, Mo, subs, subs. We're so inconsistent Zero. with the introductions. We are. We are. Yeah. You'll see the names though. You'll so see the names. You know what I mean. You know how it goes. Yeah. I'll soon have an at next to my name soon. No, yeah, man. Yeah, it's been. Bro, how many? But how many episodes are we in? Eighteen like or sixteen, I want to say. Whoa, really? <laughs> it's around that range, isn't it? Something I want to like say that. eleven, twelve, thirteen. Like, bro, nah, nah. you know how many times you've been here, bro? No, nah, no, nah, I think it's in the mid to late teens. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the late teens. We late we, teens. we we hit puberty. Exactly. Like a couple years. In. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I don't yeah. want to even get started about it. I know, I know, dons and girls. That had theirs like nine and stuff like that and ten, eleven. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. I've heard of eleven. Some people had it earlier. Um, what puberty? Yeah. yeah. The Afghan dons. Yeah. Listen, shout out my Afghan. <laughs> <laughs> you I'm not going anywhere near this. I'm not going anywhere near this. You might not hear yeah, pub- this. Nah, I'm touching, touching this. this. <laughs> shout out my Afghan dons, <laughs> innit? But you guys are too ahead of your time, bro. I'm not going to say that. Quite literally. You know, <laughs> they're so gross. You're not know, <laughs> you know, hitting puberty at the age of seven, bro. <laughs> you're not know, open up shops by the age of ten, bro. You know, just you're too mentally. They're just advanced, bro. I'm in high school with so guys that have full beards. You know, yeah, like, bro, yeah, like, bro. Hey. Facial hair, crazy, fam. Yeah, I know a couple of my couple of my Afghan dons right now are sweating right now. I ain't gonna <laughs> name them, man. Don't worry about that, man. I ain't gonna, yeah. First of January. Do you know what? Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. Do you know? I don't want to say his name, but the one Afghan don, he played football with us last time. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He he doesn't at all. Never ever looked old. He's, the, he's looked the only anomaly, bro. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. Okay, yeah. Bro. yeah. he's yeah. the only one I know. Yeah, he's the yeah. only one that was when he was born. He was <laughs> like a couple hours old. The rest of you lot are born five years old, bro. <laughs> you lot come out of the womb, you're just five. <laughs> they come like, out, they <laughs> out with luggage, bro. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Mo had me spinning. Cause I was thinking, I love this guy. I don't want to say nothing bad about him. He's absolutely no, 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 that's no, my no, guy, he's man. Down, but he's the only one, bro. Yeah. he's the only one. But yeah. the rest of you Afghan dons, yo. Yeah, you look bro. like you come out of the womb 45. I know one don that got I'm married at 12, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. He was. He's got youths. That's too much. Bro. Same age as him, right, bro? Now. You know, like you see this. You see, <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny one because like even like those guys there's obviously the, there's like these african guys you go to high school with and there's yeah. one guy like proper nice guy played yeah. goalkeeper for our, like our school team yeah. he must have told us oh yeah i used to be a taxi driver back home oh yeah my day and i'm thinking nah, and, and i'm like i'm like we're in year nine yeah <laughs> that's nah, i've seen i've seen i've seen in sudan like youths driving like the trucks like the pickup Seriously? you know the, like pickup trucks with like the you got the big back. What do they call them? And it's the just open. I don't know what it's called. Is it pickup truck? Was a big truck. You know that, like you know how, like in America, Americans love driving those big trucks with pickup the back truck. that's open. It's called a pickup truck, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We got loads of those in Sudan, yeah. Toyotas and that, in it. Yeah. I see bare little kids driving those though. So how do they get to yeah. the pedal? Bro. I don't know, bro. They just they they know what they do. They get it done, innit? I see youngers doing that, bro. That's I've seen a younger crazy. on a motorbike. <laughs> in Sudan. That's crazy, bro. What were you the donkeys, that's normal. Yeah. Because that's just, that's like a bike to them. So, yeah. <laughs> what were you doing in Sudan? Me, the what most. What were you driving? The most I did was um, the, the donkey one, I think. I right, listen, Sudan <laughs> needs to get investigated, fam. You're not trying to get people done for child labor, bro. What do you mean? <laughs> they you, they want you, it. How you got a five year old driving Uber, bro? No, <laughs> they yeah. are advanced, so you don't understand. That's and you crazy. chat to them, they chat to you like like no it's like you're you. talking to an adult, bro. That's, That's not good, nah. man. Children are meant to have a child. They're man. just advanced, bro. Yeah. It's not advanced. But some 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 places you have to grow up quicker than other places, bro. It's true. That's life. Man. Some places you just yeah. do, man. Jeez. It is sad, but you know what can you do, man? We must it's not sad, what? man. Don't don't let the people, man. Just no, no, he's making it sound terrible. Yeah, so bro, the the way childhood. you put your head down, fam, you're like, it's sad. Someone please. No, no, I wasn't doing that. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad. That's what you were doing to me, man. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man. 
Oh, nah, wait. Real quick, before we get started properly, yeah. yeah. Yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I saw we all went out, innit, for one of our brethren's birthday, yeah? And um, afterwards, we were at that cafe, right? Mm-hmm. So then, you dipped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, they were cutting the cake and all of that. And I, I took some home, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I needed containers, because one of the waitress dropped my cake on the floor, bro. When you dipped in it. Imagine she just went like this, first of all. She was like, ah. <laughs> she took the cup the floor, bro. <laughs> so I looked at her, picked up my thing, I said, Okay, cool. I went up to her and I said, Yo, I need three containers, please. And she goes to me, We don't have any. And then she goes, What do you need it for? I was like, For the cake. She goes, Okay, I'll do it for you. I was like, But you just said you don't have any. So I allowed her. I went to sit down. She's doing her own thing. She's not even coming to me. Then I asked, You remember that excited guy? The waiter. Yeah, wait, yeah, he was mad excited, innit? Yeah. I go to him, bro, I, want, can, I need three containers, please. Because I was ready to dip in it. Mm. Tired, man. Yeah. The guy pulls me close and he whispers to my ear. <laughs> yeah. It sounds mad, <laughs> it? It sounds mad. mad. Bro, I say what? it, yeah. I he's like, he's like, he's like what do you want, brother? I said, can I have three containers? He's like, he's like, he comes and he's like, you know how I come into this country, brother? In a container. <laughs> and he just walked off. <laughs> I was like, whoa. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Who asked him? I could not <laughs> ask him, bro. I couldn't believe him, bro. Oh, that's crazy. I couldn't believe it. And he's that, telling me this, and I'm dying, and everyone's just looking at me like, what's crazy. this guy? Something tells me he weren't even lying, you know. Yeah. That is crazy. Oh, that's, bro, you that's, know, something tells oh, me. Oh, that's bro. deep, bro. That's, Brother. that's the yeah, truth bro. right there, bro. Brother. Whew. My other issue is Egyptian dons, fam. Wow. To you lot, bro. <laughs> You're special people. <laughs> <laughs> but when he said that to me, bro, I was just like, "What the?" Because when he said, "You know how I come into this country, brother," it's like, "What the hell does this have to do with what I just asked you?" And he goes, "In a container." I was like, oh, bro. "Yeah, yeah, you know what? that's a line, fam. That, that's, that's a, a line. line. That's, that's a line. I think that's you have a brilliant. top of the head, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> that brilliant. <is> crazy, <laughs> that was crazy, bro. Sensational wow. stuff. Wow. Yeah, yeah, bro. That's me, bro. But yeah, that was. I just wanted to get off that. <laughs> I did because none of you man were there at the end of the night, so I needed to get yeah. off my chest quickly. <laughs> yeah, nah, because he was that done there, bro. He What's was just. Egyptians, bro? He was on one, one the whole night, bro. So like happy, we were watching bro. the MMA. Mo's acting, brother, the fight. He looked at Mo. He goes, "I'm not a fighter. I'm a lover." Yeah, I'm, I'm like, like, bro, what are you no, talking I about? <laughs> yeah, like I just, I just want you to fix the stream, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was funny oh, still. Love, like his jokes, man. You, Entertaining still. Yeah, it's me, bro. Yeah, but what we, huh? what we kicking off with today, man. What's the topic, Hash? You know, Hash, look, Hash is our topic, man. By the way, yeah. If Hash is not available, just know me and Mo ain't gonna be able to talk about shit. Hash, thrills, is, yeah? Hash he curates everything. He sorts everything yeah. out. This guy is a hard worker, man. Yeah. So Listen, you know what we I'm saying? Do, here we in a all container. do our part, man. Nah, all if you weren't man, here, bro. it would be forty-five minutes of dead air. Nah, yeah, hundred. That's it. You yeah, know what I'm trying to say. Need you, bro. Come on, man. Come on, guys. You guys all do your thing, man. Come big on. up Hashi, man. Big up Hashi. Big up, big up, big up, big up, big up, big up, Hashi, man. Yeah. Yeah. Guys. And you know what? Yeah, yesterday I would say he was the he's the biggest MVP of the whole night, bro. <laughs> People don't realize this, this guy, but oh, okay. he went above okay. and beyond. All right, here we go. Here we go. He all stayed right, awake past his bedtime hey, oh. to be there for the mandem. <laughs> and when go. he was at the table, <laughs> I, he was just sleeping. Hey, he was gonna shut he's down for real. Off. You man act like I'm an OAP, bro. <laughs> no, bro, <laughs> you were looking tired, bro. Now, bro, you were na- you yeah. were looking knackered. I and every time we brought up, yeah, <laughs> try to wake there himself up. There was one time, bro, oh, yeah. he had the bag in his mouth and he's just sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Someone wake him up. <laughs> you know, like, like you, man, like, the reason why these guys get at me because I like to sleep between 10 to 11 ish. You know no, tell him the truth. You know what I mean? Like, tell him the truth. Tell him the truth. You're never awake at 11, man. Bro, I'm awake at 11. Like, You're not awake at 11. I'm awake at 11 all the time. You know what I'm saying? I sleep, I try to go to sleep like before 10.30. That's, that's the game, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. We're getting somewhere. Now you know we're getting somewhere. It's the yeah, truth. He's coming yeah, down. he's bringing it up a little I've bit. I've messaged him 10.30, bro, and it's just one tick on WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah, bro, yeah. Chill yeah, yeah. 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 out, bro. That's <laughs> like I'm on sleep mode or something, bro. Chill out, bro. But yeah, man, like, that's good for your health, bro. That's what, that's what you're meant to be doing. You, man, yeah. are doing this revenge bedtime procrastination. Nah, shit, I, do you know what? I get my sleep in. We're recommended six out, six to eight hours of sleep a day. No, you no, you don't get your sleeping because like if you're sleeping at like two a.m. I get my six seven, bro. But bro, that's not the real six seven, bro. You're meant to be sleeping. What do you mean it's not the real you're six seven? You're meant to be seven. sleeping when the sun. You're is not down, the real bro. six seven. They're from <laughs> south, bro. They're from south. You're not the real six seven. They're the drillers. Oh, bro. You're not the real six yeah. seven. Yeah, no, bro. <laughs> 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 nah, I, I mean, 
I get what you're saying. Because if you want, say you want six hours sleep, you probably need to sleep at a half an hour before that six hour interval, right? If that makes bro, sense. Bro, I don't know what your maths is. So what, listen, you no, as in what I'm trying to say is, if I if I if I'm trying to get six hours sleep, yeah, I can't sleep. Like if I only sleep for six hours, I probably haven't really slept for six hours. Yeah. Right. Because the time it takes me to go to sleep and whatnot is that what you're trying there to say? You go. That's mm. not, that's another aspect of it. Yeah. But so also, what's your aspect of it? What are you trying to say? So when are you do, when are you are you doing a bedtime routine before at a certain time? Like that, does that start yeah. at nine o'clock, nine thirty? No, it starts around nine thirty. Where I'm trying to not watch anything, trying to be away from screen stuff mm. like that. Put your night creams on and all of that. Take your teeth out. Put I it hear that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Put it in water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep on going, Tate. Keep on going. Keep on going, Tate. I'm telling you, I didn't sleep yesterday. Really dropped out, bro. I had to tap it back in. <laughs> this ain't happening in public. If I had to snooze, you would have feel it. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> Straight gum. <laughs> hey, you might know what I'm talking oh, about. Snooze, calm it down, man. Calm it down. You might know where to go there. Oh, oh snap. Lads. No. <laughs> okay, yeah. No, it, sleep is so poor, bro. Sleep is so yeah. important. Yeah. I'll tell you now, like, these guys, they're laughing now. They're laughing now that, oh, man, them sleeps early, stuff like that, yeah? But but I'm five, jealous, five years' man. time, you'll be feeling it. You'll be feeling it. I'm you know jealous, I mean? man. But you always complain, subs. Me. I'm tired. Bro. No, but I'm I think tired, you don't need to understand. Bro. I'm not tired because of the. I'm not. Sometimes I'm not tired. sleepy tired. No, no, I'm not sleepy Sometimes tired. Sometimes tired though. is just an excuse too. Sometimes it's just kind of like, what's wrong? I'm just tired. Just allow me. Like no, I don't want to talk or night. I'm just saying I'm tired. No, man. but for me, I'm just I'm non-stop in it. I'm non-stop. I'm I'm constantly doing something in it. Yeah. So that's why I'm tired. But you're right. If I have to hold my hand up and say, if I did get a couple extra hours, it probably would help. Yeah. It would be fuel. You know this I mean? this so sleep when I'm dead shit you guys do man it's yeah. it's not long term. I don't plan, believe man. in that. You know what I mean? Uh, I would never I'll say sleep that. Sleep when shit. I'm dead, bro. Yeah, you man are you man are on a consistent basis. I think going that's to sleep I think that's I think that's one of the dumbest phrases I've ever heard in my life. What? I'll sleep when I'm dead. Yeah, that's it's, stupid. It's I think dumb. that's one of the stupidest phrases I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> and I know people don't mean it literally. <laughs> yeah. I think it's just so dumb. Yeah. I work hard, dude. I want to sleep when I'm dead. Shut up, man. You, you, you're gonna be dead in, just in, work hard get your sleep in, in and then you'll hours. die bro. it's okay like <laughs> it's okay to get sleep now you know like talking about yeah. working hard did you see the whole kim uh kim thing oh god <laughs> oh, oh is it like god. a molly may thing <laughs> yes yeah, yeah, it yeah it exactly was, exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly like, kind of I, I, I heard the molly may thing but i didn't hear what she said I, I'm not gonna lie. Every time I tried to start watching the video, I would scroll away from it. <laughs> but from what I heard, it was something like hard work. She was basically trying to say, just work hard to everyone. Yeah, the sh- yeah and yeah. you'll you'll pretty much you'll the <laughs> shut up. <and> like <laughs> it's mad. Why, why don't I get frustrated? People are afraid of working hard. She said. <laughs> when 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 someone and you know the girl at the back, the sister. Apparently, yeah. one time she said. I like something like working hard is not like it's not the thing to do in it like or work smart or something like that yeah. and she's there agreeing with her yeah, yeah work hard and all of this yeah. stuff uh, it's weird I don't get mad when someone like I don't know Warren Buffett says whoa, Warren whoa, Buffett whoa, whoa. goodness whoa. you know you got plates <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you a rapper still I can tell you a rapper you can tell you Warren Buffett yeah. 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 you, can tell, you, can you tell. see Warren Buffett I don't get mad when like he would say it not because he's a man, by the way. Before you warriors start coming out and, <laughs> and saying I'm saying it because he's a man. But you got to be credible, man. And for me, it's like when I look at someone like Kim K, where she started off from, which obviously I, I rate, obviously how she made something out of herself. But mm. let's be real. It was a tapping, man. You got wait, wait, Mo, do you have a, do you have a comment? Is, huh? Is there anything you want to say? Nah, chill. What you say? Someone threw board it. Someone threw, bro, threw board. Like, she, that, that weren't no hard work, bro. Yeah. She was in the bedroom. That's it. Yeah. And from there, shit was popping off. What? And then the other thing <laughs> is reality TV show stars as well. Molly May, <laughs> let's talk about you. Yeah? I'm getting mad right now, bro. <laughs> because you end up on a reality TV show, yeah? And I realise it's the quickest way to success and fame, bro. With Tyson Fury's brother. Yeah, exactly, bro. Do you mm. know what I mean? So I don't rate things like that, but yeah, like to tell people, oh, work hard. Let's be real. You got resources that makes it easier for you lot to get further. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not gonna are, lie. It is. Where, where some let's say right now, Kim K works 15 hours today, but Lisa down the street also does 15 hours. It's not the same 15 hours because Kim K has so many resources. 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah. She's getting a lot further with her 15 hours. Whereas she Lisa probably got, has worked just as hard as you. I'm getting... She I'm probably, got, Kim camera, probably got a chef that made her lunch that day. Uh, this and that. Didn't have to worry about this stuff or that stuff. But I'm not going to... Listen, this is the thing. I'm not going to say that these women or whoever, even if a man's in it. No, I'm not so even going to say that these people... Thing, yeah. I ain't even going to say that these people don't work hard because I know Kim just like she's... I don't know if she's working on or she's got it, but the law degree thing and all mm. of that stuff. That's admirable. All that night nah, is, bro. I ain't, I ain't got a law degree. I can't chat shit. How did she get that law degree? I mean, she studied, innit? it? <laughs> the thing is, have you, wait, have you got something to say, brother? No, but listen, no, but, let's let's not give her. No, no, hours, no, man. no. I'm just what I'm trying to say is. This is my no. I think, mentioned. I think, I think, hard work to everyone is different. That's 100%. number one. Yeah. Number two. She may she may work very hard, but I think she I do think she's out of touch because, like Sub said, she got through ball in this life. Yeah, do you know what I'm trying to say? She got a big through ball in this life. Open goal, fam. The goalkeeper. She it's crazy outside half, foot. She, she, she was one on one. She started off halfway line, one on one with yeah, the keeper. with the keeper, American yeah. thing, fam. Yeah, the, and she had so much time. The American penalties. The American penalties. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> there was no pressure. Yeah. Whereas Lisa starts off on the halfway line. She's got. 20 defenders in front of her. Yeah. It's different, bro. And she it's doesn't even different. know how to do step overs. She doesn't know how to do step overs. Yeah. She never touched a football in her life. Yeah. You know what I mean, bro? So it's different. I just want to... I don't know. Come on, man. Tell the truth, bro. I just... I don't know. I just... I just... It's, she's one of... All right, let me ask you like this then, yeah? Is there anyone in that kind of world that can say... Um, Guys, just work hard and, you know, it'll be cool. And you would be like, okay, I can take it from him or her. Hmm. That's a good one, you know. That's a good. That's you know a what I'm trying to say. So this is this is my thing, yeah. A lot of successful people started off where, like, everyone needed where, a where, hand in this life. Like, by like, the way. No, they, they started off where everyone else starts off. Yeah. They well, a lot of people start off with nothing. I'm talking about, let's say, a lot of people that have inherited something from their family or whatever. Let's say just the average person. Out of nothing, for yeah. example, yeah. Um, they've worked hard, um, at, but. For some of these people, it gets to a certain point in life where they forget about that. They, as you said, they're out of touch. Yeah. And they start talking down to the people that were in their position. Yeah. Like, this is easy. Unrealistic thing. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. you have to do is work 15 hours a day. But maybe I don't have the resource. Maybe I work 15 hours maybe a I'm day. Maybe I'm a single mom. But I don't, yeah, I've got 100 other things to get to. But the same thing, I don't know what you know right now, which is a position that you were in before yeah so there's no sympathy if that makes sense yeah 100 percent. so i think the only person i could take that from mm. i don't know if you don't know this guy he's a ceo i think what is the company called i don't know if it's gravity or whatever but the company's a multi-million pound company he pays everybody 70k including himself oh, wow. everybody earns 70k the cleaners earn 70k he earns 70k what's this company called um it begins with a g i don't know if it's gravity i'll, I'll double is it check uk based that. no it's us based and um, everybody in the company regardless of your role the base is 70k he pays himself 70k no. as the ceo and people just love that i would actually i would actually apply just to be a cleaner Rah, you're this guy i might just do that you know yeah but again, life is meant to be a meritocracy. Don't you think so, man? Like, you can't... If you have, like, a degree, have experience and stuff like that, should you be really getting paid the same as a cleaner? No, I... I no, to all cleaners stuff like that, they should I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. more than they're getting paid yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and should, should be getting benefits, stuff like yeah. that, and recognition they deserve because yeah. they're doing an important job. Yeah. But come on, guys. Like, we didn't... But should I, tell you, should, I, should I tell you what education I Education and studying and, and Isn't that by a company-by-company like company basis, though? Like if this guy wants to do it for his company, don't work for them. Innit? I'm not. I'm no, not but, but, but hash, no, and I, I know no, what you're no, saying. No, but I don't think you understand. As a base, as a standard, everybody gets that. No, but what he's it doesn't to... mean somebody else oh, okay. in a different role can't earn more. more. No, no, right, they cool. can. Your base is that though, isn't it? Your, as but a he's standard. trying to say is, if I'm a cleaner and then this guy who went to school and did all of this stuff, he's gonna work on like say, IT yeah. in this company. Is it fair for both of us to start at seventy k? So this is this is the CEO's point of view. Yeah. yeah? In an interview that he, he posted, he, he posted that the company earns millions. Rather mm. than paying himself millions in bonus sure. every year, he splits that money across the entire firm, which means he can raise the base salary for everyone else. Sure. Yeah. The second thing he says is, if people don't have to, and, and by the way, it's not just money, 
but I think they've got like an unlimited holidays policy. Basically, if you need to take time off work, just take time off work, basically. And his whole point of view is, if you've got a workforce that is happy, then the business is a lot more productive. I, f- Every, you, I you, fully you know agree I mean? with that, man. Yeah. If everybody's fully happy, then you get a lot more out of people. Yeah. People want to work for the company. They turn yeah. up every day, not for money, but because they're just happy to the be. The work there. itself could be so difficult, but I, f- I agree that if you're happy, yeah, 100%. You'll, you'll you'll see everything will run it. smoothly, yeah. bro. Exactly. So, I don't, kn- like, the thing is, obviously, I can't confirm. Let me not just, let me just, I know as a, as a standard, the lowest anybody could get paid in the company is 70k yeah and i know for a fact the ceo himself has a base salary of 70k and doesn't pay himself bonus but i don't know about if other people in different roles can potentially earn more. i don't know about that yeah i don't know about that but then again hash so i know i'm talking a lot but to go back to your point it's up to you whether you want to apply to that company or not it's true yeah so, you know what I mean? Again, yeah, I'm, I'm not mad at it, but it's just yeah. it's just a point I wanted to make, innit? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But do you know, at that place, there must be like, everyone must be happy, there must be no everyone, screaming, yeah. shouting. Yeah, everyone's just gad. They yeah. just do their work and just yeah. earn their money and keep it stepping, man. And you I'll know be what? there Saturday, Sunday. Bro, like, come on, man. That oh. must be a peaceful place, no shouting. Uh. And that leads me to a great segue. Mm. To and you, Sorry, just to say something. You give, ma- you give people like this unlimited holiday kind of thing not saying that it would work for everyone but i feel like you give these kind of perks and stuff you're gonna want to like be like i don't want to fuck this guy over. exactly you know yeah, what i'm yeah, trying to yeah, say yeah, let yeah. me do my thing properly because this guy's you know helped us so much or whatever why do, why should i fuck him over you know what i mean yeah. so you're gonna yeah man you're gonna work hard anyway regardless if you're happy mm. that's sick though that's crazy 70k base pay for everyone that's, that's it crazy. that's mad yeah. but anyway let's go into th- the thing that we were talking about all week in regards to that video we saw about the teacher do you remember yeah the screaming the at the tell, tell the audience okay, cool, a bit about that for those people that I'm confused with something tell, tell the people that, that yeah for people who haven't seen the video of what, what it's about yeah so basically it's a video where I think it's the kid in it he's like or his boy he's kind of like filming it to the side and it's, we don't see the face of the teacher but this guy just starts screaming top of his like, top of his voice at the kid about respect and whether or not he did his homework and how he's lying to his parents and all this kind of stuff he isn't saying anything egregious if yeah. that makes sense yeah, yeah, yeah. but his volume his tone his aggression is completely unacceptable in my opinion isn't mm-hmm. it? you know what i'm saying and it's absolutely crazy and we've heard like different differing opinions on it and mm-hmm. stuff like that and w- and how effective yelling can be and stuff like that and i kind of like read through a couple of things that you man said i don't necessarily agree with everything that you guys said but there are a couple of things that we can definitely dis- discuss further and stuff like that because like it'd be really good to um, unpack it man because it's one of those ones where it can kind of give you a bit of an insight to how someone will even raise their kids you know what i'm saying going mm. forward and things like that you know what i mean yeah but the main thing is like to start off with is what did you man think of it like initially when you watched the video <laughs> i i'm not gonna lie for me it was we had a teacher like that so i wasn't thrown with thrown like i wasn't thrown off is it yeah you really? know it's like okay you know yeah bro you know that story like, you know that that time we did that whole knocking on his door thing yeah, yeah and we yeah, ran yeah. i might have told this story yeah, in the pod. Did, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> that day yeah uh, he took four of us into a room yeah and he just stood in like he put all four of us in each corner of the room mm. and he would stand right next to us like this us he made us four stuff to look straight and he would just scream at us like military style mm. just going in like, in like just, full metal jacket bro <laughs> just screaming actually bro the side of our ear just going mad bro so when I heard that guy screaming, I was just like, I've seen a teacher scream at the top of their lungs. You've been desensitized to it. That's not right. But that's that's not that's right. Not yeah, right. When, I've, when, never, when, I've never I've never come across that. It's person. mad. Yeah. When you don't watch that video, like it's weird. But I I didn't look at it from a point of view from me. I looked at a point of view as if I had a child, that was my okay. child. Oh, in the okay. video. You looked at it like that. I yeah. looked at it like that. Yeah. And for me, I I wouldn't I wouldn't have it, man. As a parent, I wouldn't have it. I'd be fuming. Man. I definitely wouldn't have it, man. It was a bit much, but. Yeah, it was too much. I'm not going to lie. I think it's important to say, though, that we have a friend that's a teacher mm. and they had some um, opinions that were interesting. Exactly. That's what I wanted to yeah. bring up. Yeah. yeah. So he was basically saying that he doesn't agree with it either, but there are a select few students 
who are like there's there's special cases where something like that is possibly needed and could be the only thing that works okay mm. now obviously it's hot it's he was saying it's it's easy for us to say don't shout blah 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 because we're not teachers we're not there all the time in it but for yeah. him seeing it all the time i'm like okay maybe i can understand and he gave examples as well yeah. like there's students so. that don't listen to any other teacher and he's blessed with them all the time but anytime he switches they kind of are taken aback a bit like oh right okay let me calm down a little bit because him of all people who's cool with us yeah is now getting angry where it's like okay we didn't want this yeah do you know what i'm trying to say so some people do need to hear it apparently but like sub said if you see it as like from a parent's perspective you're gonna see that and just be like i don't care what my kid did don't talk to my kid like that yeah, so yeah. Let, let me ask you about something yeah and i just want a quick answer because i got a follow-up question with that yeah. yeah which i want you to dive into mm. if you were a parent would you want your child to be would you accept your child being shouted at like that no not like that no okay the follow-up question now is is there any circumstance or any action your child could have done that would make you think you know what i'm i'm okay with it yeah if he was like physic what? if he like come on bro like if he's like i don't know like smacking up some girl in the middle of the class and punching her up or something like that bro like you need to get something like that scream is probably the least of your worries yeah from a teacher yeah, if you're yeah. doing something like yeah. that bro yeah. do you know what i'm trying to say because like let's not let's be real bro we've seen it there's some bad youths out here mm, that yeah. no matter what you say or do to them they will still be bad bro mm. <laughs> <laughs> like it's crazy fam so there might be special occasions where yeah something like that is okay but in general if you raise your voice i think it's okay but the way that guy was screaming over something like that yeah. which was like homework and whatnot yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. That was just too much. But like yeah. you're saying, if there's a situation so that's if, big if enough. If you're, if you're, let's say it's your son. Mm. If your son was physically abusive to a, a female student. Yeah. Any other points? Any other scenarios? Is that the only one that you're like? Like stuff like that. Something um, egregious basically. That's what I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah, just something yeah. really something outrageous. Like yeah. where, like maybe I wouldn't chat to you. Maybe I'd make you like, do you know what I'm trying to say? Talk to you about it and make you understand how terrible something like that mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't know if I could look at a person and be like, yo, why did you shout at him for doing something yeah. like that? That's crazy what you did, little mm -hmm. man. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's so, nuts. Yeah, so I don't know. Like, yeah. it's For me, there's only a certain, there's only a couple of like times I think someone should be yelled at. And again, if you're being yelled at, it can't, it has to be, because yelling at someone is like, a, it's, it's kind of like a harsh thing to experience. Sometimes it? it can just be a raised voice. You know what I mean? It doesn't That's have to be a yell exactly. as well. It doesn't, it doesn't have to necessarily be like you going full volley yeah. the whole time. Full you know what I mean? It could just be you just like one time going, hey, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. To kind of like get people's attention. Like mm. like you, you see like all, like in movies, TV and stuff like that when, when there's an like unruly class and yeah. you know, the teacher has to go, hey, like yeah. one mm. time. Excuse me. Sometimes you need that. Sometimes yeah. you need that, yeah? <laughs> Stick up your sick teeth. Scans me. Ricky. All of them love say ah. <laughs> They'll just do ah. <laughs> <laughs> it must be like Kim Thule speech, but yeah, like you have to like you have to make sure that like if you're gonna yell, it's gotta be like so infrequent. So so the yelling is actually powerful. And yeah, like a point. So that's exactly what our boy yeah, yeah, was, was saying. Say, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because if you're yelling all the time, then it has no effect. In, a, in in one, one ear, out the other, bro. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But like, because I still hate that teacher. Exactly. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Scrapping. But, but then, but then I might, you know. But I don't think what I think. Maybe I don't know. Maybe if we didn't, we didn't let our boy elaborate more on it, but there's certain people. Uh, it's more effective to talk uh, to talk to them in different ways. Yeah. Like for me personally, yeah. Yelling's not gonna work on me. Yeah. I, I completely switch off. That's yeah. like same. Yeah. yeah. Same. But if you take me one to, to one side, talk to me calmly, then I feel bad. I'll listen. You know I'm yeah. I'll listen. I'll feel I'll bad. I feel guilty. Like then, then, yeah. I mean, then I'll listen. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then there are people like like our boy said that yelling is the wake up call that they need. You know what I'm saying? No, but is I mean I oh, think it's I think it's is that, that going to change? change a, well, like one yell. It's gonna change a person, but it's if, not gonna but change if a person. If you're a person, if you're who person, doesn't, yeah, who doesn't like that's what he's trying what? to say. So it's kind of like, like for example, my man who we're talking about, the teacher, yeah, yeah. Say one day he switched at one of us and yeah. started shouting. 
I'll be taken aback. Bro. No, but like, no, but no, no, no. But and I'll listen bro, to it because no, I'll be like, that's different. Huh? That's different. No, but that's what he's saying. He's no, saying no, if it's I'm a teacher is... that doesn't usually shout like that, the moment that they do actually yell, student might be like, whoa, okay. No, but what I'm saying yeah. is, if we're talking, we said okay, if a you was to let's say physically assault, like let's say it's a boy physically assaults a girl in school, and the teacher goes nuts, yeah. That's not a wake up call. I tell you why. I don't think that's a wake up mm-hmm. call because if I'm that you, and I've got the capability to do that, yeah. I've got bad etched in my DNA. Yeah, you, sh- which means I'm capable of other bad shit. You shouting at me is not gonna take away who I am. Yeah, if that makes sense. I yeah. mean, maybe he was. Maybe he just wasn't raised properly to that point. Though. Exactly. But so things could change though later on. Of course, but one time shouting is not I don't think there's certain bad youths out there that you shout at them once, it's not gonna make them think, fuck. Yeah. I'm gonna be on a straight path yeah. now. But I will say for that I'm situation, I mean, yelling might be better than just being like get out of the classroom. I'm not saying not I'm not saying yeah. not to yell. I, I'm j- I'm not sure how effective how effective it will be. Yeah, 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 yeah I agree. Fair. I agree. But I, you I, have I to yell saying. in that, that kind of situation. Yeah. Yeah. yeah effectiveness is different. We just ha- we have to yeah. see that after the fact. Yeah, yeah. If it's effective. Yeah. Or not. But cool. it is powerful because like I had like a um, professor at uni, uh, like in our first year, he was the, the most co- old man, very very old man, old old man, and there was a couple of these um these guys these these Arab guys in it. Like obviously these these men didn't really care in it. Like mm. it, was, it was first year. These men were probably you know what I mean enjoying yeah. themselves. And they'll be in the back, always talking, always talking. And, and like, it was very, very hard. It was fluid mechanics in it. It was a very, very hard module in it and stuff like that. And these men will always be talking. And he always calmly just told me, please stop talking. And if you're not listening or you don't want to take part, then you can leave. You know what I mean? Mm. The, the, the slides are online in it. Or, mm. Online. Do, yeah. And they'll be like, no, 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 no we'll, be, we'll be quiet. And they'll continue rumbling on in it. And it got to a point where we'd have to kind of start stepping in in it mm. as students to tell these men to, to be quiet. And, be, and it just kept on happening, happening, happening. And literally, like, b- the week of the exams, yeah, towards the end of the year, week before exams, these men came in, and, like, we were all, like, these guys are going to, like, do it again, in it? And this this old man, this guy was so old, like, it was kind of crazy. Like, I don't even know why he was still working, but yeah. that's how old he was. He must have came, and this guy just started screaming, these men. Wait, the lecturer did? Yeah, the lecturer. Oh, wow. Was screaming, and, it, it, and his voice was so loud. Oh, wow. You know, it was so loud, like, People next door came in before something happened. You know what I mean? That's how loud he was. I don't think I've ever heard a lecturer scream, you know, in my uni. Yeah. Bro. I don't think. And no, these guys shit. felt so bad. They said, sorry. And then he said, no, no, no. You're leaving. You yeah, it's the last straw now. It's the last yeah, straw. It's you know last I don't care if you're apologetic. And it was mad. Like, to this day, like, oh, like the head on the back of the neck was standing up. That's how mm. it was so shocking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's how effective yelling can be sometimes. Yeah, you know sometimes, yeah. It can, can literally, literally scare people straight, man. Mm. For saying? some people, some people get embarrassed too. Oh, yeah. And you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you're like shy in front of bare people, yeah. Bro, at football, it's the worst. Like, you're playing badly and <laughs> you're getting shouted out by the manager yeah, in front of everyone. You're, you're, you're comfy, you're already in the gutter. Fam. Exactly. <laughs> I hate it. Oh, I've already switched off. I tell you even worse. <laughs> <laughs> but if you take me to one side, put your arm around me, you know what I mean? Like, come on, you know what I mean? Come on. Th- then I'll be like, okay, you know yeah. what I mean? I'll, I'll yeah. run for a brick wall for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? In that way. Yeah. But yeah, it's just whether it's effectiveness, stuff like that. And if my child, like, back to your question about, like, if it was your child, in it, Like, you're not going to discipline my child. I'll discipline my child. You mm. discipline my child in the framework of school, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But you can't yell it. That's you know what, what it is. Yeah. How I how I parent how I'll parent yeah. is up to me. You know, yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You c- you know the you thing is, like, I think, I think, like, obviously, our conversation with our boy, and maybe we'll get him on the podcast. Maybe yeah, he has yeah. to come in here with a mask <laughs> and look like a drill artist or something because <laughs> of yeah. But with a belly, um, yeah. Ultimately, I said for me, like, in future, I think my parenting style isn't to shout and do all of that i think i'll be able to get my point across and 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 make sure ho- hopefully make sure my child listens in it in mm. an ideal world and i think for me the reason why i'm saying i won't have it is because i know that yo I, I can make sure that i discipline the right way my yeah. child wouldn't be one of those child but if my child did end up being a bad child and clearly i can't i don't have a grip on it mm. then to be honest I, I probably wouldn't have an issue with teachers it's so tough because yeah, like do you know what I mean if my child end up like that bro so it's tough when you think about like <laughs> what you want um <laughs> this nigga smiling for I rem- <laughs> <laughs> can I tell you why yeah. I remember what 
this guy, the story. Why is he playing at me? Do you know why? Because the story he told us about your dad, isn't it? Our parents even. Oh, and he. How can he? How can he go to the teacher? You know, when he's not like behaving badly, you can just shake him one time. You know, shake him. Is it shake him? To me? Yeah, to you, yeah. No, no, no. No, no. no. His, his, okay, his my dad was wasn't that bad, man. <laughs> his, his dad was the story. No, no. We were just chilling. Maths teacher's there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he just made he up something, bro. His dad looked like a villain, bro. <laughs> dad's nah, up, bro. we were just chilling. And the maths teacher's there. She's just telling him. I think it was a maths teacher. I can't remember. Mm. And he just came and goes, two fingers. <laughs> no. Two edge fingers. Bap. And I was just like... You know those ones hurt the most. They're like yeah. it's embarrassing. It's well. Well. Yeah. Yeah. And that's like because I think I mentioned this in the pod too. I saw someone in parents' evening get smacked in the back of the head, like the neck, yeah, by his parent in it. Yeah. And then the maths, everyone went silent. The maths, <laughs> maths teacher goes, "He deserves this." I was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> so this is the thing, yeah. It's tough because, like, when you think about how much you want uh, teachers to do because when i came to school my 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 dad started saying like straight up be tough on him mm. or if anything is like he does anything let me know i'll be tough on him kind of thing yeah some parents aren't like that though in it mm. and fair enough in it if you're not like that i think my dad was a bit tough but it's cool but some people are not like that so it just kind of brings me to like how much how much do you want teachers to do in terms of yeah. disciplining your kid or whatever it is because yeah. it kind of brings us to the child cue thing mm teachers just yeah. thinking what they want to think or whatever it is and then mm. things just escalate and it's now some huge big thing bro that it didn't need to be so that child of mm. q thing again it's another thing where there's not even much we can say about that except for like just hopefully that girl's okay yeah yeah and 100%. she can somehow get through this because she's probably gonna be traumatized for the rest of her she life get the help she needs man yeah honestly and yeah, yeah man let's not ex- like People, let's not expose her name or her school or none of that, man. Yeah. yeah. Leave her anonymous and... Yeah, she's already... The thing is that she's already gone through an experience that I think... That's enough, She's going to carry with her for the rest of her life. Exactly, man. So I have to rate... Yeah. I'm, and I'm glad I don't know the name of the school anyway, but I have yeah, to rate the people yeah. of her school, the ones that protested, the kids started protesting, didn't yeah. want to go to no lessons, yeah. Yeah. none of that. Yeah. Um, I don't know the latest on this now, like what's going to happen with the officers or mm. the teachers or whatever it is but for me it can't just be an apology bro no, no way it can't just be an apology has to be way more than that the than thing that, is like i think we've obviously we've spoken about this on um we've spoken about like how broken the system is on yeah. previous yeah. episodes and like the policing system even the school system yeah and bro like it's sad that a child has to go through go through that because that's gonna really it's gonna affect her for the rest of her life, bro. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Truly will. And it's just crazy that something like, bro, I don't know, man. It's just crazy that something like that could happen. Like, the suspicion was I just really crazy to yeah. me. Like, do you know? <laughs> I don't even want to make a joke about this year, but like, do you know how many people in school smelt like that? Yeah. But it wasn't that. It wasn't that exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The amount of times, bro, like, but and thing, it was never no, that. The thing bro. is, yeah. Let's say it is that. That's too much. Yeah. That's let's say it is that. Yeah. yeah. Let, let's be real. Like, okay, let's say a student was carrying, yeah? And the student's not like, they're not a, a, a huge drug dealer, bro. They're not going to have flipping bricks on them or boxes on a them. A little you, in like it? That, yeah. yeah. So let's say in, in, a, in, a, in another universe that this child did actually have weed on them, yeah? All it would take is for one police officer to come, yeah? A female police officer. Yeah. It doesn't need to be a strip search. Number yeah. one, it could just be a regular search. Yeah. They find what they're looking for. You report it to, you, you get the, the parents involved. That's how it should have been handled. Yeah. Just yeah. in another universe. Yeah. And discreetly but, too. And discreetly as well. Yeah. But to have a whole unit go there. Yeah. Like, like she's a criminal, which she, she isn't. Yeah. And, and to do what they done, bro. Like it, it, it they violated her privacy, bro. They, they they put her through a traumatic experience Sad, man. and and there needs to be repercussions not just for the police but that teacher as well yeah there 100%. needs to be repercussions even and that, that school like, too yeah and the they, fact that they never informed her parents it's so sad man that's, when it comes the, that's to like, the most that's, that's crazy the, one of the yeah. worst parts of it by the way that's they, crazy that's what because i heard like i don't even know if these things are true but like 
it's sad like for a minority child you smell that and you start to think about oh this person could be dealing with this the parents could be involved this could be happening oh my god it's a whole operation of drug dealing and ah, it's crazy and whatnot but like it's none of that shit and it's none of you've that just thing. embarrassed and humiliated some girl and you For violated her and whatnot and the worst thing is is that i heard the people that did the strip searching were females so it's like who in that in that institution do you ever trust you like don't need you know to what i'm trying to say search, the whole thing Fucking is broken hell, bro. bro you don't need to do strip search and, and personally as a parent bro like if you're gonna do something invasive like that you need to call me at like, least, i'm the yeah. guardian i yeah. need to be present and i need to give the aok for this like exactly. do you know what i'm trying to say like I, I need to understand why you think doing a strip search as opposed to a normal search is is deemed as the, the right course of action yeah it, it wasn't man yeah. do you know what i mean bruv so it's bro like you're right an, an apology won't do it it's not enough there needs to be repercussions for the yeah. teacher for the school yeah for the met police and those well. officers yeah yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. there's some there's, there's something it's so broken bro something's broken in the system yeah very and yeah but yeah, now nah, if you don't want to find out about Child Q, just read up on Child Q because it's like it's a lot to retell the story and whatnot. Mm. But and I imagine you go guys through. got the gist of it by what we're yeah, talking about. We, we don't yeah. want to go through certain details because it's too much, man. It's just disgusting for for like I personally can't mention a few details of of the story because yeah, it's, it's, it's sickening, man. It's sickening, man. I don't I don't want to go into that, man. But no, so, I hope yeah. she's okay, and. Hopefully, with the support of friends and family, she can get through this, man. Mm. And more importantly, hopefully, this doesn't happen again, man. Hopefully, th- that's very important. Hopefully, this mm. doesn't happen again. But yeah. like we say, bro, with the way this institution is, who fucking knows anymore, man? Mm. <laughs> Actually, mad, bro. But we'll see, you guys. Do you man think times are changing, or it's more or less the same? In okay. terms of like policing, policing, just in terms of like, like implicit bias and stuff like that and institutional racism do you think there will ever be like a light and light at the end of the tunnel kind of thing i mean think things are always slightly slightly getting better they're always slightly getting better because you can't say now is the same as 1990 yeah, yeah it's always slightly getting better but it's never enough it's never enough bro it's never it a big to, it enough needs to be, it needs to be eradicated yeah that, and that's when things are better there's never a huge enough yeah. effect with these things mm. like do you know what i'm trying to say so no nah, man I don't think in our lifetime we'll see a light at the end of the tunnel, personally. You think so? I don't think so. You nah. think another generation, a whole generation? Yeah, if that. If that, bro. Because mm. I remember someone saying, yeah, if it's not like, say we were all the same colour. Yeah. Everyone was the same colour, same race, same sign. We would all find something to hate about each other still. Yeah. Bro, it's just, I feel like that stuff is yeah, just inherent in nature. people, bro. That just, that's just part of human it's nature. It's just inherent in these yeah. people, and especially in these institutions, bro. Yeah, I just think that's how it is, man. Because at the end of the day, it's just human beings, isn't it? Yeah, Regardless of whether or not they have power or not, just gonna find a way to bug out another person. Right now, it just seems easier if you're black or this or that. Why or does why does the police roll like deep? Like, whenever some they come, they're going somewhere. They come like four vans. That's why people say police are a gang. But it's actually crazy. It's intimidation. They, people say man. police are the biggest gang in the world, bro. It's it's intimidation. Yeah. Like yeah, like it's just not. Many oh, times yeah. we've been stopped, and then like five minutes later, of two vans, three cars, like it's just crazy. Mm. I remember the, the first worst thing I've got in my pocket is keys. <laughs> like, I remember the first time I was ever stopped. I was driving like remember I was twelve, mm. ten. I was driving my mom's nineteen ninety six Skoda Felicia. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, the yeah? Skoda. And like the way I got stopped, a van came, then a police car. Yeah, it's outrageous, man. And the, I was, I was petrified, yeah. bro. I was 18, bro. I was scared. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. It's Shit bro. is bro. It's yeah. intimidation. It's a, it's a power trip. It's, yeah. It's all tactical, isn't it? It's all tactical, yeah. man. And the thing is, like, with anything, in it, in this world, like, whatever, if we're talking about institutions, if we're talking about race, if we're talking about religion, like, not all of you are bad. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like there, there's probably. I hope a lot that's a given. I hope we don't have to always say, "Oh, but not everyone." Yeah. Like, yeah, come on, man, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, everybody. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So. But, but yeah, something like the police force, like there's a, it's, it's, I wouldn't even class it as a few bad apples. It's not a few, man. Yeah. There's but quite it, a lot. But what they say yeah. is that it, it messes up the whole bunch, isn't yeah, it? Like, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. like those those people that don't speak up are, some people will say are just as bad as the ones that are doing mm. the bullshit. So. But yeah, man. How do you even do it? But yeah, guys, I think we've run long enough. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, should I do it? Should I do it? Quickly? 
um, yes. so shall we allow it for the next time? We'll do we a plan for it. For the next time, man. We'll do next, next time. Alright, yeah. yeah. cool. Yeah. Guys, please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for joining us on all of that every week, man. Another episode. We appreciate it. But yeah, yeah, we'll be back again. Love. Peace. Take care.